بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله says in the noble Quran the meaning of which is here is a book which we have sent down to you full of blessings that they may ponder over its verses and that men of understanding may remember the noble Quran is the book of Allah revealed to our Prophet Muhammad may peace and blessings of Allah be upon him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to be the constitution for the Muslim nation the source of its legislation the code of its conduct and the basis of its might and glory with it Allah lit up the hearts of his believing servants with it he opened the blind eyes the deaf ears and the sealed up hearts and with it he brought the people out of darkness into light and guided those he wished to be guided to the straight path the noble Quran was given to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam in the form of revelation then came the stage of writing it down during the time of the Prophet himself he chose for this purpose scribes from among his eminent companions as and whenever a fresh revelation came to him he would ask the scribes to write it down in its proper place telling them write down such and such verse in such and such place Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam used to encourage his companions to write down the Quran and to memorize it by heart in a hadith or tradition reported by Bukhari and Muslim on the authority of Abu Sa'id al-Khudri the Prophet said don't write down anything I say except the Quran whoever has written down anything other than that should erase it by the time Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam passed away the entire Quran had already been recorded on palm branches bones pieces of fabric leather and stones interest in the recording of the Quran and its dissemination among Muslims continued during the time of the rightly guided caliphs during the caliphate of Abu Bakr may Allah be pleased with him radiyallahu anh, the entire Quran was transcribed on pages and arranged in the original order of the surahs and verses during the reign of Uthman radiallahu anh, several copies of the Quran were made which were sent to important cities in the Muslim world one copy was kept by Uthman radiallahu anh, for himself these copies became known as the Uthmanic Mus'hafs as they were prepared and sent by Caliph Uthman radiallahu anh. Since then, they have become the original of all copies of the Qur'an produced throughout history until today. Thus, the noble Qur'an has been passed down to us in its original form and its pristine purity. It has been preserved in the hearts as well as on paper. Throughout the ages, Allah the Exalted inspired the Muslims to dedicate themselves to the systematic study of the Quran and its various sciences so as to establish the divine miracle of the everlasting preservation and protection of the noble Quran Allah says verily it is we who have sent down the reminder that's to say the Quran and surely it is we who will guard it the land of the two sacred sanctuaries witnessed the descent of divine revelation the emanation of heavenly light and the birth of the Islamic call and its dissemination in every nook and corner of the world at present Allah the Exalted has guided the rulers of the kingdom to serve this land of the two sacred sanctuaries and to serve the Book of Allah and disseminate it. And in continuation of the kingdom's efforts in this connection, the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Fahd bin Abdul Aziz, issued his decree to found the first complex in the world for the printing of the Noble Quran. 
Al-Madina al-Munawwara, the city which the Prophet chose for his migration and which was the first capital of the Islamic State, was chosen to house this gigantic complex. And in Muharram, 1403 Hijra, corresponding to November 1982, the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Fahd bin Abdul Aziz, laid the foundation stone of this project. There was a period of time when a Muslim could not profess his faith openly and clearly. King Fahad Noble Quran Printing Complex was inaugurated on the 6th of Safar 1405 Hijra, corresponding to the 30th of October 1984. The Ministry of Islamic Affairs, Endowments, Dawa and Guidance supervises the work of the complex. This is one of the many blessings of Allah. This project was just a concept two years ago. Today it is a reality. The complex occupies an area of 250,000 square meters. Its design emulates the traditional styles of Islamic architecture. It is indeed a self-contained town with its own public utilities and services. The complex is governed by a higher council chaired by the Minister of Islamic Affairs, Endowments, Dawa and Guidance, who is also the complex's supervisor general. The higher council lays down the policy of the complex, monitors its achievements, and frames its rules and bylaws. The secretary general implements the complex's policies and strives to achieve its goals. The complex publishes meticulously correct copies of the Noble Quran. It also publishes translations of the meanings of the glorious Quran into various languages and produces cassettes and CDs containing Quranic recitations by renowned Qaris of the Muslim world. The complex also pays special attention to the study of Quranic sciences and the Sunnah and Seerah of the Prophet ﷺ. The custodian of the two holy mosques decreed that this publication of the glorious Quran be called Mus'haf al Madina Nabawiya. Keeping up with the advancement in modern technology and to ensure the highest possible quality in production, the job preparation unit has been modernized by procuring electronic printing and editing systems such as scanners, input devices, processors and electronic photocopiers. Production goes through several stages. In the first stage, the Quranic text written by the calligrapher as well as the decorated motifs are scanned by highly advanced scanners. In the second stage, the text is processed and retouched using highly sophisticated computerized technology. In the third stage, the entire page is prepared where the text and decorative motifs are put together. In the fourth stage, pages are arranged in the form of signatures where printing as well as folding register marks are added.
In the fifth stage, the signatures are printed and processed in an image sitter equipped with an inline film processor. Now, the films obtained are ready to produce printing plates. In the sixth stage, the printing plates are exposed and developed automatically. They are then put in the thermal furnace to give the plates the durability needed for mass printing jobs. Afterwards, they are chemically treated for protection against oxidization. King Fahad Noble Quran Printing Complex has been equipped with three web offset presses each one with a printing capacity of about 30,000 signatures per hour. Two of the presses incorporate four printing units. The third press has six printing units. The complex also has 12 sheet-fed printing machines each of which can produce 12,000 signatures per hour. All printing machines of both types have built-in electronic monitors. Once the printing processes are over, book binding begins. This involves several stages, the first being folding. There are in the complex 11 folding machines, each with a capacity of 7,500 folds per hour. They are only used for folding signatures produced by the sheet-fed printing machines, as the web presses have inline folders. Afterwards, the signature assembling process begins by two machines which can assemble 6,000 signatures per hour each. Then follows the sewing process. This division has 18 electronically operated sewing machines. Any error in the signature order or count can be spotted by the inbuilt computer. Now the stage of cover making begins. The cover making division is equipped with three cutting machines and five case making machines. Covers are made from different materials such as cardboard covered with natural or synthetic leather and plain cardboard covers with printing on them. The production capacity of this division is 10,000 covers per hour. The final stage is binding. There are two hardcover binding lines, each with a capacity of 2,400 books per hour, in addition to a perfect binding line producing 6,000 books with soft covers per hour. To ensure fault-free production, vigilant checking is conducted at every stage of production. At the outset, the text is examined by a specialist committee. Quality control is instituted at the assembly lines. There is also a final check for every publication. The copies of the Quran are packed in boxes and labeled to show different kinds of issues. Those to be sent abroad are wrapped in cellophane before being packed in boxes. Consignments are stored in warehouses of the highest standards in terms of design, equipment, storing methods and safety precautions. Several different editions of the Noble Quran have been published. Mus'hafs have been published according to the various qira'as prevalent in the Muslim world. The following are the names of some of the various publications. Al-Fakhir, Al-Jawami'i Al-Khas, Al-Jawami'i, Al-Mumtaz, Al-Adi, Al-Ruba, Al-Thumun, Al-Jayb, etc.
The complex has issued translations of the meanings of the Noble Quran in more than 30 languages, including English, French, Turkish, Hausa, Spanish, Urdu, Kazakhi, Bosnian, Bengali, Indonesian, Persian, Somali, Albanian, Uyghur, Thai, Burmese, Kashmiri, Macedonian, Greek, Malayalam, Tamil, Zulu, Nko, Chinese, Peshtu, Brahi, Korean, Oromo, Tagalog, Yoruba, and other languages. The complex's translation center constitutes specialist committees to examine available translations of the meanings of the Noble Quran in order to select the most accurate ones. The committee members are scholars of Arabic and of the languages into which the meanings of the Noble Quran have been translated in addition to their being well versed in Islamic sciences. The complex's Quranic studies center conducts original and in-depth research in the field of Quranic studies. It is also engaged in compiling extensive bibliographies for the benefit of the scholars. The center has begun publishing some books which are valuable additions to the Islamic library and significant contributions to the study of the Quran. The complex's average production of all the various Quranic publications is nearly 10 million copies a year. These are presented as gifts from the custodian of the two holy mosques to Muslims all over the world. During the time of Hajj, every pilgrim arriving in the kingdom is given a copy as a gift. In line with its role of disseminating the noble Quran around the world, the complex has set up an audio recording studio equipped with the latest technology. الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم تبارك الذي بيده الملك وهو على كل شيء قدير. The production process in this division involves four stages. In the first stage. Quranic recitations of renowned Qaris are recorded under the supervision of a senior ulama committee. In the audio editing stage, the recorded recitation is segmented according to the capacity of the cassette. Audio improvements are also made before duplication is commenced. In the fast duplication stage, 4,800 cassettes per hour are produced by three production lines. The magnetic tapes are packed in their plastic boxes. There are 15 winding machines producing 5,300 tapes per hour. In the pre-final stage, identification labels are glued on the tape showing the Qari's name, the surah, and the number of recorded verses. After quality checks of all tapes, they are packed in cases, each one containing the recitation of the entire Noble Quran. The recitation of the Noble Quran has so far been recorded in the voices of famous Saudi Qaris. The translations of the meanings of the Noble Qur'an in certain languages have also been recorded on tapes as part of an ambitious project to record on tapes translations of the meanings of the glorious Qur'an 
into as many languages as possible.